Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Give a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. I bear no grudge against Udume, Abo, others, Apabio. Senate President Godswe Apabio has said he bears no grudge against any of his colleagues over the recent happenings in the Senate. The Special Advisor on Media and Publicity to so the Senate President, Eseme Eyibo, made this known on Tuesday in Abuja, hours after the drama had ensued during the plenary. Recall that during Tuesday's, Tuesday's plenary, Senator Ali Ndume, APC Bono South, raised the point of order to draw the Senate President's attention to alleged procedural errors committed by him, which were yet to be corrected. Specifically, Undume referenced a motion on the need for reopening of Nigeria Nijei border, which was moved by Senate Somaila Kawu NNPP Kano South, which appeal allowed to be debated without first having the official title of a motion read as the normal procedure. Undume relying on Order 51 of the Senate Standing Rules requested that the Senate President should allow for the correction of, an, of any error made or observed during plenary. The Senate President had hardly allowed Ndume to end his speech when he ruled him out of order, saying since he had ruled on issues raised, it could not be revisited. Apabio sustained his disorder and disinfuriated Ndume, who equally raised another point of order, specifically Order 54, to see correction of a previous order of a perceived error. Pardon me. Again, Apabio, Apabio ruled him out of order without allowing him to exhaust his line of argument. Following the development, Ondome picked up his documents and a few other belongings and stormed out of the Senate chamber. But in an interview on Arise News on Tuesday, Eyibo said his principal abhors no heel will towards any of his colleagues, saying that the embers of the leadership election have been buried and replaced by the fraternal bond of nation building he shares with his colleagues. He also expressed shock at the assertions of a former Damawa North Senator Elisa Abo that the Senate President influenced the judgment of a court of appeal that sacked him from the Senate. Ibo described his claim as delinquent, provocative, and unbecoming of a distinguished senator. He said, and I quote, It is only a diseased and uninformed mind that will not believe that the outcome of any court proceeding is a function of the evaluation of facts and evidence within the province of a rule of law. It is uncharitable for Senator Abo to pour his frustrations of Senator Pabu or anyone else, and his action betrays the bow he has for Senator Pabu. Democracy is founded on the rule of law, so for anyone to accuse one of the strong agents of democracy and governance in the mode in the mode of Senator Pabu, such an individual must be a monument of self-pity and swan song and a swan song a discordant escape from reality. 
Senator Bobby for NFC has no heel will towards any of his distinguished colleagues and as he has said in the past the embers of a leadership election has been buried and replaced by the fraternal bond of nation building he shares with the overwhelming majority of the senators you all let me have your thoughts in the comment section share this video with your friends and family subscribe if you haven't already done that breaking news senate appoints new deputy leader deputy chief whip the senate on wednesday appointed the all progressive congress apc senator representing Kwara south Oye Lola Yisa Ashiro as the new deputy leader of the Red Chamber. Newsroom reports that the upper legislature also appointed the senator representing Eboi North Senatorial District, Owaboi Peter Onyeka, as the new deputy chief whip of the Senate. Senator Onyeka is a member of the ruling All Progressive Congress. Senate President Gozo Ababu announced the new appointment during Wednesday's plenary on the floor of the Senate. Ashiru, who was a former Deputy Chief Whip, was elevated to the position of Deputy Senate Leader, which became vacant following the appointment of Senator Dave Umayi as the Minister of Works by President Bola Ahmed Tinobo. More details will be available shortly. You all, thank you very, very much for always listening and watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel by now, just know that you are missing. What are you doing on YouTube but you're not subscribed to Newsroom Nigeria? <laughs> Please go ahead and subscribe. This is the only place you can get reliable and authentic news from. Subscribe. Join this amazing community we have here. Turn on the post notification bell. Share this video with your friends and family. Everybody, share this video with them. I will see you all in my next video. I love you all. Bye for now.